I'm on a hunt for one of the Earth's most alluring and elusive ingredients. And my journey starts off with a bang. I'm David Pogue, and I've managed to talk my way into this hidden lair deep underground in search of gold. The gold is microscopic? Yes, you can't see with the naked eye. So we're way past the days of finding big gold nuggets sticking out of the wall, going, hey, Bob, I got one here. <laughs> I'd like to strike it rich, but that's not why I'm here. I'm on a quest to understand the basic building blocks of the universe, the elements. I want to know what they are, how they've shaped our lives, and how we're shaping them. They are going to let me pour the gold into the mold. There's about $12 million here, Dave. Oh my gosh. What's that gorilla doing there? What are things made of? It's a simple question. But the answer is astonishing. Let's take the basic requirements for life. You and me and the dizzying variety of shapes, sizes, and species on planet Earth. The magic number is... Six? That's right. All living things share these half dozen elements, including some of the most abundant in the universe, like carbon. So all life, I mean, trees, Old bacteria, us, Justin Bieber, everything made of carbon chains? That's the idea. These and the other building blocks of life can be found here on the periodic table. This iconic chart and all of the elements it represents are essential to understanding everything from plants to planets, from the birth of the universe to the cells of the human body. What are these elements anyway? Why do they behave the way they do? Oh, man. This is what I call a table of the elements. Uh, I think it's best if we do this with shields down. A little homegrown chemistry sorts the benign. Tastes like salt. From the big guns. Oh, here we go. Oh! I'll assume you've stripped this car down, taken out the engine and all the dangerous parts. No. We want to create the biggest nightmare that they might come across. I am not seeing much car over there. That's because there's not much car left, David. We examine the hidden order within atoms that dictates reactivity, conductivity, appearance, and more. We are at 50,000 times magnification. Those are the atoms. Let's keep going in a little bit more. Those nice. are atoms? I'm seeing atoms. Along the way, we reveal the story of how humanity's mastery of the elements has stimulated trade, provoked wars, and powered the rise of civilization and industry. Copper is king, okay? Copper is used for everything. We use it for infrastructure, we use it for electronic goods. I love copper. I do. <laughs> I'm getting it. As we explore the farthest reaches of the periodic table and push the limits of science itself. This is plastic, dude. It is a class. Where will the elements take us next? Should I worry that my gloves are on fire? It might be slippery. You're warning me about the slipperiness? Yeah. Dude, there's three sharks in here. And this side over here, which has the rare earth metal that they're not supposed to like in the water. She comes. Oh, See? she didn't like it at she all. She didn't like it. She was aiming right at it, and she was like, oh! <laughs> what the heck is this thing? It's Skylab. And the ultimate goal of this is to find Earth-like planets? Exactly. Hunting the Elements on Nova, premiering April 4th on PBS.